Hey there, this is Brandon, and this will be my chart review for Wednesday, December 30th. Uh, I am in my simulator account now. Um, I thought it would be interesting to show this live trade. It's just in, uh, again, my simulator account, so it doesn't matter uh, with respect to the combine, uh, which I am already done for the day. Unfortunately, I struggled a lot today. Uh, I got two wins and six losses. Um, obviously, some of those were just a, a handful of ticks, two or three ticks. But uh, yeah, couldn't couldn't really do anything right today. Um, just wasn't in sync with the uh, price action, and it was super painfully slow and. Uh, so I essentially hit my max loss and can't afford to put another trade on in the Combine account. Um, I get this question sometimes. The Combine account is play money. It's, it's a simulator account. Uh, it's just connected to Top Step Trader and they are, um, you know, it's an evaluation of my trading. Um, so it's not real money. I am not trading real money. Um, I am always trading, at least so far at this point in my trading career, I'm only trading play money. But I'm trying to get evaluated and get funded by Top Step Trader, which is a proprietary trading firm. Um, and uh, so that's, that's what the combine is. It's just a play money account. It's real price data, real price action. Uh, and, and realistic trades, executions, um, but it is, it is fake money. So I am not at the point uh, of trading real money yet. Um, so yeah, backed up considerably today. Uh, I was really stoked yesterday to, to get up to uh, 10,700, um, but I took a big, a big step backwards today, unfortunately. So, um, I didn't circle any trades. It, it was difficult for me to figure out kind of what was happening today. Um, so I think I'll just, maybe I'll just circle the trades as, as we go along here. Um, obviously, we had a, a downtrend in the overnight. We got a break and a couple of new lows. I was really tempted to go short right here, um, but originally I had this line a little bit higher. You see the matching lows right here, and so I was, I, I didn't want to go short right into that area of support where there'd been a couple of bounces, uh, especially right at the open. This was at 6:31, <clears throat> and um, uh, you know a lot of times they'll they'll be kind of a fake out move, um, so I skipped that one. Um, but it is notice the. Uh, the low here well maybe you know from this low there's one attempt to go higher second attempt to go higher so it's kind of a failed second entry long um, but yeah it's just too much overlap and there's that support there so I didn't mark that trade um, and then I was really looking for the breakout pullback um, which essentially comes right here but again I'm I don't it didn't come all the way back and it uh, when you're going short, a couple of ticks, one tick below the low of the day, above the low of the day right there. Um, so I didn't mark that either. Um, and it continues bouncing here. Now we get a one bounce, two bounce, and a third bounce right there. So I think uh, that's possibly a, a reasonable place to go long. Um, it's, you know, it's the third showing of support in this area. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and mark that as a long. It's a second entry long from the low. It's a double bottom. So I'll mark that. Try to. It's also a, kind of a trap here. Notice this big bearish bar and it only can manage a couple of ticks before it reverses and fails. Um, not a great idea to go short that far below the EMA. 
especially on a first entry. I would never take that first entry short anyway. Um, so I guess uh, this long here is you're just expecting that prices will come back to the EMA and give you a four tick scalp. And they went a bit further. Uh, and this looks kind of like a reversal. Um, and I wasn't clear where this trend channel should be. Uh, I originally had it like so. Um, and I kind of like that. Although this, it's not a great fit along the highs. So, like I said, it, it just, I found the price action to be fairly difficult to read today. Um, so maybe I'll just delete that and then Then we'll just call this a, a trading range. It traded down and then kind of just got stuck in this two-tiered trading range. Um, considering that, it's probably a little bit risky to be going short uh, right around the middle of that trading range. Um, ideally, you know, I'd try to get short from the highs right in here. Um, but, yeah, so I think... Counting from this low, you have a first century long, or actually counting from the high, it moves down, tries to go higher once, pulls back, makes a lower low, tries to go higher a second time. Um, believe it or not, well, I'm, I'm sure it's not that hard to believe on a day like today where I had six losses, but I actually went long right here. <clears throat> um, and I thought prices would come up and retest. Uh, I thought it would be a range day, you know, uh, you know, around here. And this looked like a reversal to me. So, but anyway, this turns out to be a trap. So I think that's a good place to go short right there when that, that fails. Okay, so I had a little interruption there. Uh, my dog was uh, asking to be let out to go to the bathroom. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I, I like this as a trap. Um, and I think no matter how you draw the trend line, you could have a trend line kind of like so. And this is kind of the first break, and so it comes down here and makes a new low. But I don't, you know, it doesn't fit anywhere on the lows there. Um, so I'm not sure. Could be like right there. Uh, and this is just an overnight kind of an overshoot right there. Um, but, you know, it's kind of one of those little peaks above the EMA in a downtrend. Um, and so this is a perfect little trap right there. Uh, I, I definitely got trapped right there. So it comes down and makes a new low, then it bounces, and this kind of sets up the lower part of the range. It's a two-tiered range. Um, and this is a pretty clear channel working back up. At one point, I thought this might actually be a channel as well, and I think I actually, yeah, I went long right here. Uh, which was a bad idea, but I thought maybe this was a this was a trend line here, and it would retest these highs. I was looking for it to retest these highs, um, and it was it went four ticks my way, and then failed. Um, so, and it never. I mean, after this channel working up, it never retested those highs, at least not yet, um, and. Even if this if this was a thing, which I don't think it is now, um, I'm going to delete that as well. Again, just basically a trading range. So there's a channel up, tries to go higher once, tries to go higher a second time, and it did fail right there. You can't see it. Well, maybe if I do this. Yeah. So there's the second entry long, and it failed right here. Now, I had gone short right here based on the second entry. 
So I'm going to mark that second entry short. Because that did work. Um, and I took the second entry short right there, and then it bounced again and then failed. So it was at that point, it was a failed second entry long. Um, so I liked it even better for a short. And I moved my target lower, uh, looking for four ticks below that trigger. Um, so 62, I was looking for 62.50. It kind of treated it as if this was a, um, an add-on opportunity. Uh, in hindsight, obviously, it would have been better if I just took my, just kept my, my target order where it goes and took my four ticks, um, 64.25 right there. I would have gotten my four ticks right there just before it bounced. Um, and then, <clears throat> again, I was still curious about this channel working up and waiting for those highs to be retested. Uh, looks like I'm about to get my scalp here. Um, and so when we had this really bullish bar, um, I actually, when it ticked higher Target here, filled. there we go, I went long right here, and it never went more than three ticks my way and finally stopped me out. So that was another loss that I had. Um, and so I think this is, this is a good lesson to learn. These, these type of traps, because this is a trap right here, those rarely fail. They usually work out. And notice what happens here. The trap is triggered here. So you get short at 63.50. Goes a couple ticks your way. And then it, it, then it bounces. But notice that the high here never comes higher than that previous high. So it, <laughs> this was ages in here. So it would have been a really long wait. But eventually it does work out. And you have your, your short at 63.50 which uh, the four tick scalp is filled right there. It comes down here and makes an almost equal low here and bounces pretty hard. So I actually like that for uh, the long. Um, takes a minute here. There's, there's some sweat right there, um, but that ends up working out for a good scalp. And that really, I mean, this has been so slow. Well, I'll mark this trade as well since it did work uh, and I actually took it. Uh, the sim trades always work out. You, you probably know how it goes. But uh, let me back out a little bit here. It's difficult because I don't have my mouse. I am going to delete that and then draw the trend line here for this. So again, it's a trading range. Here's my dog. Uh, notice you get a little break right here and it moves down and retests the, or uh, makes a new low and then it reverses, bounces. So then you have little trend working up and that fits nicely get a break a new high just a single tick and then it reverses nice bearish bar it's a second entry short counting from the low um, and uh, we'll see how far it goes but it definitely obviously was good for a scout so obviously uh, not a whole lot of volume today which is not surprising given it's um, the 30th of December. But uh, those are the trades that I that I saw here. Um, obviously frustrated to be on the simulator and having hit my max loss for the day. But uh, that's how it goes. I mean, can't 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 win them all. So. I'll be back again. I'm going to try to trade tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get some decent volume. Uh, this is just really, really dull and slow. Um, but hopefully it'll be better, but, uh, but a little bit better tomorrow. We'll try to get some, some money back there and uh, get a good finish to the year. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll talk with you tomorrow.